what Russia's space program uh, showcases today is that it does not have the same kind of ambitions that China has articulated. So for example, China wants to build space-based solar power satellites. China wants to invest in asteroid mining. Uh, China wants to become the lead actor in space. And more importantly, China has the economic resources. So space is expensive and space requires time and space requires expertise. So Russia has expertise, but does not have the economic resources. So because of that, what you see developing today is that Russia is actually starting to collaborate with China, realizing that China brings resources that Russia dearly needs. So an example is a recent memorandum of understanding between China and Russia to develop a lunar research station by 2036. Another very ambitious project that China first articulated, uh, which is that for the first time for humanity, you will have a permanent base on the moon, which has never happened before. The Apollo landings were very temporary landings, and we showcased human beings' capacity to go to the moon, but could not sustain them beyond a few days. But that's the ambition that both China and Russia are now articulating. And in my analysis, Russia is actually joining in in the Chinese-led space order as a junior partner. Finally, what is so interesting from my futuristic analysis is that Russia is also starting to collaborate with China in an asteroid defense plan. So basically, we, as we know, uh, the dinosaurs all were extinct because Earth was hit by an asteroid millions of years ago. There is concern that small asteroids could hit Earth or could come very close to Earth. And that's something that both China and Russia have identified as a joint project to develop capacity to, if possible, deflect an asteroid on its path to Earth.